So I'm going to look at this light again. I looked at this previously and I modified the switch because the switch was basically failing and it was arcing and not working most of the time. And I did a temporary repair just to keep the thing going for the time being. Basically what I did is I reversed the switch contacts so it actually was the switch out was on so the in was on because the in switch contacts were burnt out. Anyway, I've got some more switches from AliExpress. So I've got some replacements here. These may suffer the same problem where they don't last very long. I don't know. I mean, this thing lasted for probably five years before it failed. So I'm hoping that putting a new switch in will last another five years and that'll be fine. You know, if I have to replace it, if you want to bolt, it's fine. I've got plenty of them. So we'll pull this thing apart and we'll fix this again. If you didn't see the previous video, I might link it in down below or something so you can get to see what the actual process was previously. Um, the biggest problem I had was trying to get the damn thing apart. <laughs> That was the biggest problem, was because it's all clipped together and not meant to come apart. So it's a bit of a pain. It's one of these things which is just designed not to be messed with. Once it's been put together, good luck getting it apart again. This is what I'm trying to struggle with now, is to get it apart again. I've basically got to pull this thing out, because it's got these little lugs in here, which lock it in place, you can't just slide it out the end. Anyway, maybe I'll come back once I've got it apart, but yeah, it's expect this to be a problem if you've got one of these lights, exactly the same as this. Expect that to be a problem, because it's a pain. I've got the cover off, basically I just grabbed hold of this edge here and it's yanked it off to try and bend it because it has to flex inwards and it's held in by these little clips each side which go into the rails. So basically yanking it forces it to flex a little bit and pop out. It's a bit of a pain. Anyway, there's the switch I've got to replace. Because I don't care about the switch, I'm just going to literally, I'm just going to melt it off with hot air and that'll be it. If I cared about it, I would not be using hot air, I'd just be using solder iron and messing around with it, which is what I did before, because I didn't want to risk melting the switch, but now I've got new ones. I don't care about that so much. So, let's get this off here. It's one side. Looks like the switch will survive anyway, actually. That's not too bad. There you go. Right, let's wick these pads off, just to clean it up nicely. Okay, that's wicked. Now I've got to clean it up. Okay, so we're cleaned up. Now I've got to put the switch in. I believe the orientation matters. I'm not sure actually. That's a good point. I'm not sure which way around these have to go. So what I'm going to do is determine the polarity of this switch, well the orientation of the switch. I've got to hook up the power, I've got to turn my power supply on, and we activate the switch and see which way around it's supposed to be. Obviously it should be in for on. If it's wrong now, I'll just have to start turning around, I don't know, we'll find out. So it's just sitting on the pads, it might be enough. Oh. Yeah, there we go, look. So that's out. Alright, so if I turn it around and then put it back down, that should be off. Yes, it is. Push it down. Yep, all good. Alright, let's try and solder the center. I've already got one leg soldering. Well, I just need to uh, tweak the position slightly by getting this one soldered in place. Then redoing this one, that should then create the alignment and take the stress off that pen. And that should be good. Now it's got to solder the rest of these pins on. Now this particular solder is massively big for this, but it's an old solder which I'm trying to get rid of. So I'll use it for everything I can until it's gone, because I've got some much nicer stuff. This is a bit thick for really for doing this fine work. But uh it's got a lot of flux in it too, which is why you get a lot of that burning on there as well. Right, so that's all done. I could have used hot air for this, but in the end. It's probably just as easy to use actual solder and um, 
and it's just as easy to use an actual soldering iron for this particular job. Right. Trying to get the excess solder off. Right, let's clean this up. That should work now, hopefully. Right, let's turn the power on. Okay, push the switch in. There we go. Excellent. That should last a little while, hopefully. Check out the other videos. Bye.